So our first DIY is to turn an oversized t-shirt into a tank top. This is one that I've just used mainly as a pajama shirt, but it's kind of falling apart. I've got holes along the top. So we're going to cut this down and turn it into a cute tank top. First of all, you wanna just get it spread out evenly. And then secondly, what I think is the easiest way to do this is to get a tank top or a t-shirt that already fits you well. So I've got this Land's End one here that I'm going to use as my guide. So then I've got some fabric chalk here and the first thing I want to do is just mark the outline of my shirt. So basically I've marked the holes for my arms and the sides going down. I haven't decided how I'm gonna do the neck yet so I'm just gonna leave that for now. So I'm going to cut off the arms, but I'm not gonna cut along this line because we're going to fringe this side and tie up the sides. But I can go ahead and cut off the sleeve section here. And this will go faster with bigger scissors. Repeat on this side. So now that we have our armholes cut, it's time to do the sides. And I'm gonna do the sides one at a time because I think it just makes it easier if you do all the steps for one side all at once before going to the next side. So with this part, we're going to basically cut tails that we're then gonna tie down the side. And we're going to use this line here as a guide. That's how far in we're going to cut. But it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna start at one end and cut in little strips until I reach the line that we marked. And I'm just eyeballing how far apart these are. You can use a tape measure if you wanna get them exactly uh, the same a distance apart. So now I've got the fringe cut, but I ended up with two different types of sections. Some of these are still together in a loop and some of these are already separated. The ones that are already separated, I'm gonna tie those first and then I'll cut a few, tie, cut a few, tie. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna take my two ends from either side of the shirt and just do a basic overhand knot, tighten it up, and then do a second one. Go to my next tails, do two overhand knots, Once I reach these ones that are still tied together, I'll just cut the loop and keep repeating this process all the way down the side. Got the first side done and I'm gonna repeat the process on the other side. Now I didn't show this after tying the first side, but when you tie it, it's probably gonna bunch a lot. So what you can do is just kind of give it an up and down kind of stretch like so, and it'll get everything laying down a little bit better. So the last thing I need to do is I need to cut the neck. And I'm gonna use this tank top for the shape, but I'm gonna come down a little bit lower than this tank top is. But I'm just using this so I can get that curved shape. And I'm gonna make the front and the back both come down the same amount. So I'm gonna cut through both layers. So here's the tank top. I'm gonna try this on for fit and I'll show you how it looks. And I may also decide to cut off the bottom cause this hem is just kind of yucky looking. And of course you could fringe the bottom or do the bottom however you want it to look. So our next idea, I'm going to show you a really easy way to cut t-shirt yarn and then we can turn it into a little rug or you can even make a little basket. So what I want to do is we're gonna take our shirt and fold it in half, but not all the way to the edge. We wanna leave a little bit of an edge still connected. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we're gonna cut a bunch of lines going across, but we're not gonna cut all the way through this edge. We're gonna stop right about here. All right, I've got better scissors now. So cut across, but stop at before you reach that left edge. So 
So now you guys should have something about like this. And here's where we're gonna actually turn it into yarn. If we look along this edge here where it's still connected, what we want to do is we wanna cut at diagonals. So this first one to get started, I'm just gonna come from the base and cut to that side right there. And now I'm gonna do the whole way up is I'm gonna cut from the notch on the low right hand side to the notch high on the left hand side. So cut it across at a diagonal. Go to the next one. And if we look here at what we've cut so far, we now have one long piece of t-shirt. So just gonna keep cutting along the diagonal all the way up our shirt. And then for our last loop, we're just gonna cut from this to this outside edge. And now we have one long strand of t-shirt. Now that you have this made, you can crochet with it, you can knit with it, you can cut several t-shirts up and weave them into a floor rug. If you want to learn how to make an easy hand crochet rug, click the card up there. I show how to do it with some old towels, but you just use the same method with your t-shirt plarn. And of course you can make this a lot bigger and change colors and use lots of different t-shirts to make a super cute rug. But this just gives you an idea of something you can make out of t-shirt yarn. For this next one, we're going to turn a t-shirt into a storage solution. The basic idea is we want to cut a big triangle out of this piece of fabric. So to do that, I'm gonna grab in the middle of the neck and in the middle of the base and pop it up like this. So that way now my fabric is folded differently. My t-shirt is folded differently like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from this corner here at the base all the way up to there. And what we end up with is, is a triangle of fabric. In this triangle of fabric, we can hang it in a corner where this is attached to something like a nail or a command hook in the corner. And then these two are attached on either wall to the left and the right. And we'll be able to store items in it. So let me show you what I mean. For our next project, we're going to make another thing that you can wear. We're going to make a t-shirt vest. Now this shirt obviously has some prints on it. You can do it with a shirt that has a print on it, or if you don't want to see the print, you can just wear it inside outed, so that way whatever design was on your t-shirt won't be seen. So I'm gonna inside out mine. And this is a project I love because it is super simple. First thing we want to do is cut the sleeves off. And I'm just making sure that the seam of the sleeve on either side is lined up so I don't cut too much off. Once we've cut the sleeves off, we're gonna to come to the front of our shirt and we're gonna find the middle. Easiest way to find the middle is just fold it in half front to back and get the neck to line up. And this also doesn't have to be exact, it's super forgiving. For me, this fold right here is the middle of the front of the shirt and I'm just going to cut right through this fold. Last thing we want to do is make the neckline a little more flattering. So we're basically going to cut it so that way the neckline will kind of curve like this. And we're gonna also cut the neck off. So easiest way to do this is to fold your project in half so that way you can keep it even on both sides. We're just gonna come down the front a little ways. This isn't super precise at all. And we're gonna start cutting up towards the neck and just keep angling it back towards the collar. And then we're gonna go along here and cut the collar off. So at this point you might wanna look at it from the front just to make sure, so like see on this side how it wasn't lined up evenly so it kind of notches in weird. I'm just gonna smooth that out. And that's the basic way to make the vest. What you can do now is you can customize it however you want. You can make the armholes bigger if you want to. You can cut the bottom hem off. I think I'm going to cut out a triangle kind of on either side so that way the vest is longer in the front and in the back, but make it so that way it looks and fits you the way you want it to.
For our last project, we're going to turn a t-shirt into an easy tie pillow. The first thing we need to do is figure out how big we want our pillow to be, and then leave two extra inches all the way around. For me, I'm not going to actually do any measuring. I'm just going to cut this top here off. And I'm also gonna cut the bottom off so that we don't have the thicker hem. And now I've got this big rectangle tube and to turn it into two separate rectangles, I'm going to cut each side where there's this fold. Now we do need to do a little bit of measuring. So in each corner, I'm going to cut out a two inch square. And this is gonna be really rough. And also I can't see my chalk very well because it's the same color as the shirt. But again, this doesn't have to be exact. I'm gonna cut the corner out of our t-shirt. Once you cut the first corner out, you can use the scrap you just cut out to measure out the other corners. So we're gonna do the same on all three other corners. Once I have the corners cut out, I'm gonna go along each side and cut fringes to the same depth as the corners. And I'll make mine, you know, about an inch or so thick. Again, this doesn't have to be super precise. and repeat on the other three sides. Once we have all of our fringes cut, it's time to tie the sides together. You can tie in different ways. You can tie it like we did the t-shirt that we turned into a tank top, or you can hang on to both of them and do a basic overhand knot. I'm going to tie them together like I did the t-shirt. So once you finish tying up three sides, Leave the one side open, go ahead and stuff it, and then finish tying the last side so it will look like this. Okay, so I didn't stuff this very well because I don't actually need a throw pillow, so I stuffed it with some t-shirts, so that's why it looks a little lumpy right now, but if you stuff yours, it'll look nice. And what's fun about this is you can make them super big, super small, and if you have a t-shirt that has like a design on the one side, you can cut it so that way the design is in the center of your pillow. Hey, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed these ideas. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button on this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so that you'll know when I post new content. I post tutorials every single Tuesday. So I hope you have an awesome week. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.